Hello Rugby fans, I'm Dallin Stanford and welcome to Raptors Weekly. This week you'll get to watch all the action from week 3, hear from Glendale's coach and captain, figure out claiming a mark, check out the hit and try of the week, and get ready for the Raptors return to Glendale for next Sunday's clash with San Diego. From Australia, oh. McGee, the dummy through, picks up White on the inside. White now, can he free the arms? Yes, he can. The Raptors still going. Five out from the line they're put down. Warriors scrambling to get back. McGee, big long ball. lofted pass. Fig for the corner. One to beat. Fig, nice. too big, too strong, too fast. Raptors are in. As Morath to his left. Tamalau, McClellan, dummies. McClellan to the line. Yeah. He's over. There's the first try for the Warriors. The Warriors the tied it up in the 29th minute then went ahead right after half-time. He takes it up towards the 22. The ball spills out. Vader Colo! Vader Colo scoots down the blind side. And the Tongan superstar, he dots it down. Warriors take the lead here. Glendale nodded the score on the length of the field try, then later regained the lead through Pete Dahl's try. Wazuski, oh, the somersault. Beautiful stuff. The pick up from Dahl. Can he reach out? Pete Dahl, the hard man, he dots it down. And the Raptors reclaim the lead here. Polo, can he get a double? The outside centre reaches for the line. Just short, quick ball. Morath, they've got a score in the corner. Lauti. And it is that band, Lauti, who dots it down. Then Utah dotted down twice in four minutes to go back in front. The Warriors, they go the length of the field. And it's Lauti who dots it down next to the post. Olio Campbell. Campbell to the line. The fan, Bryce Campbell. Oh, he's unstoppable. Breaks a tackle. Now can he get to the try line, Davidson? Cover defense coming. He pinballs off another tackle. Davidson oh. still going. Surely not. Finally brought down by Tui Niao. Out wide. Crusade corner. Try Raptors. Put that one down to Davidson. The youngster Crusade. He gets a five-pointer. And that could wrap things up for Glendale. Glendale's leading try scorer Harley Davidson earned Man of the Match honours in Utah. Harley Davidson, Man of the Match for you. Really tough win. Firstly, some massive adversity for the Raptors. Now down six starters with Big and Rock being hurt. How'd you approach losing the first four during the week coming into this game? Uh, we, we expect nothing less. You know, next man to step up. We have a lot of really good depth, a lot of young guys that are willing to step up. And so it's not much, so much to worry. It's just about who's ready to step up. Yeah, you spoke about, I mean, you saw you played the Warriors a few weeks ago, you know, early on. What was the big difference? Obviously, today was a bit of a more tough fought match. What was the big change and what made them so competitive today? I think the first time, I, I mean, there, there were a lot of new guys playing with each other, so they're a little bit unstructured this time. They got a lot of new, newer guys. A lot of guys stepped up, a little more structure added to the mix, and they're just they're a phenomenal team. They're going to be a tough team to beat late in the season. Well, it doesn't get any easier for you in the Raptors. You have San Diego at home next week. They came off yep. a great win as well. So we wish you good luck and looking forward to seeing you continue to play Thank throughout you. the season. Harley Davidson, man of the match for the Glendale Raptors today. In Major League Rugby's first ever Thursday night fixture, the Austin Elite hosted Nola Gold in Round Rock, Texas. Oh, well as Mitchell busts free. The vice captain Mitchell with a flick. A wonderful ball. Hudson on the outside. It's going to be Ned Hudson. Head coach just before half will be wanting his side to get away from this area, but it's Nola Gold that have come through with a great scrum. John Sullivan for the line. Sullivan is over. That is a fantastic forward try. Scrum work absolutely gorgeous. Stolen illegally. Austin Elite have advantage here with a penalty. You mentioned stolen illegally, taken quickly. Hermesais. Hermesais reaches for the line. He's got the score. It's the Terminator, Hanko Hamasais. Caught everybody unawares, except for Scott Green. And that's five. So here we go. Nola, men in gold. Ball at the back, it's an important one. Sullivan goes for the line again. It's John Sullivan. He snipes yet again. Good carry and offload. Hamasais comes through, picks up the ball beautifully. It's Hanko Hamasais for the line. The Terminator will not be stopped. 50, 50 ball. Hudson has it. Hudson busts through. Look at him go. Flying. Ned Hudson. He's been reeled in here. No, he's not. Hudson. Rounding defenders like Park Cars. He gets a double. It's delight for Austin Elite. And 
into the celebrations for the home side. It's been a long season for them. On Friday evening, the San Diego Legion took on the Houston Sabercats at Torero Stadium in a thriller that went right down to the wire. So it launched an early attack. Kick over the top, Kalenisau's chasing. Where will the fouls? Comes back superbly. Move San Diego. Alex Elkins. So close to the line. Sabercats. Time is off, and let's see what Chris Salsas has to say. A fortuitous bounce back towards the hands of Kalenisau, but a great bounce off the kick. Try awarded. First try of the game. Osberger has it in Blair, first receiver. It's Duplessis, JP Duplessis in open space. The South African born centre needs support, throws a couple of dummies. Pangolinen gets him and then Orsburg is in support. Great work there and they go, Salaba, Anthony Salaba on the outside. You stay classy San Diego, they're back in this game. Can they come back to the narrow side? Orsley, Orsley rides the tackle, gets the off road. It's a beautiful ball, who else? May the force be with you. Anthony Salaba gets a double. Saber Cats, what a run, what a gap, and what a score. Sam Windsor strikes for the Saber Cats in good time. The Green is there to help out. The Saber Cats now under pressure. Duplessis fires it over the top. Beautiful ball. Audley, they just get him. Saliba yet again with a fence. Saliba going for the hat trick. Bumps one, goes over. This is unbelievable. San Diego Legion right back. Saliba, a hat trick. Well, that's adventurous yeah. stuff, but it's still there. Stolen by JP. Duplessis. Duplessis stepping off the left, still going. Well helped there. And here they go for the line, charging over. Blair, try to ward it. Just needs to touch the upright. It's Duplessis with a special steal. And Pat Blair looks to have scored for the home side. Kalenisau with a drop kick attempt out of nowhere. Osea, Kalenisau. Oh Can you believe it? Been told to use it. Going for the line. Dolan just short. San Diego. Do they keep it tight? Do they try to rumble Maybe it in? Six on the line. On the, hands you need to be so accurate up front. They've got it on the line. Yes, that could be a try. We are Legion. <laughs> They've done it. San Diego Legion. Time full on the clock. Have done it at the death. Unbelievable scenes. To add the extras as well. Flags are raised. 55-32. San Diego, wow, they have done it. After three rounds of play, the undefeated Raptors are all alone atop the ladder with 14 points. In second, it's San Diego on 10 points, Houston and Austin on seven, then Seattle with six, Nola with five, and the Warriors in seventh with two competition points. Glendale coach Dave Williams shared his thoughts about the Raptors' second consecutive road win. And welcome into beautiful Infinity Park here in Glendale, Colorado, Rugby Town, USA. Nate Crackman along with the head coach of the undefeated Glendale Raptors at 3-0 here in the MLR season, David Williams. Coach, uh, congratulations on the 3-0 start, remaining undefeated. Let's start with last week against Utah, 36-29. You guys win that match out on the road. A couple of late tries in the last 10 minutes to come back and win that thing. Take us through it. How'd you do it? Uh, we had a poor start. We started very sluggishly. I think the first half an hour we were very slow. Um, defensive line speed wasn't really there, uh, and our attacking shape was pretty poor as well. I think once we got into our attacking shape, we did really well, and that's when we scored our tries. Manipul manipulated them as, as defenders, and then we kind of got around them and then just got created space. I think our, our set piece wasn't as good as we expected, to be honest. Uh, so we're definitely looking for a response that weekend. Uh, and it was a tough game. Like Utah, they got some big physical boys who want to run hard lines. Uh, so full credit for them. They're a brand new team. They've got some good Tongan players in, some good Polynesian players in, and they've got a good basis. So Alfie and Kimball Carr have done a good job, but the players have really bought into their system. Uh, it's a good stadium out there, and luckily we, we came able to win. We got the bonus point, which is even more important as well. You talk about Utah being a brand new team. For this Glendale squad, a lot of these guys have played together. How much has experience and familiarity helped your squad here early in the MLR season? Oh, I think it's a huge, especially like we had a couple of suspensions with uh, with Ben Landry and uh, Connor Cook getting red card of our first game. A couple more injuries, you know. So we've got a, we've got a, like, a lot of depth in our squad, and that really shows when we have injuries and when we have suspensions. 
You mentioned the injuries that this team is dealing with right now, and they were a factor last week against Utah. Uh, how big of a factor was it? How much of a factor is it going forward in the season? Uh, I mean, it's, it's rugby. It's a physical sport. You know, you don't plan for you know going out of 12 players in the first game. You don't plan for losing two players in the first half, um, but you just get on with it. You know, like the training session we had tonight, we could switching guys in and out, so they know their roles. You know, and it's up to them if they want to prove they're good enough and to put their head hand up to be basically playing that starting team next week. And they're all doing it, so it makes my job a lot harder, which is great for me. Yeah. That's what I want. And, uh, you know, some of the players get disappointed, but then we tell them, you know, if you want to prove your starting spot, then you've got to prove it on the weekend as well as in training during the week as well. On Saturday in Utah, the Raptors were led by a familiar figure, standing captain Zach Fanolio. It is time for the captain's run here at Infinity Park. Nate Kreckman along with the captain of your undefeated Glendale Raptors, 3-0 in the MLR season, Zach Fanolio. Zach, uh, a new look for you. You're no longer wearing number two. You're wearing number six for the Raptors right now. Team's a little bit banged up, so you're filling in where you can. You're also taking over the captain's responsibilities. Uh, early on in the season, as the team has gotten a little bit banged up, how have you adjusted to some of these new roles? What Davies established with us has been just a next man up mentality. And so we've all bought into the, the camaraderie and the culture that we want to have here. And so everybody's given their job, whatever it is, and we all step up and do that job. So this team's done an awesome job this year so far is just taking with what we were given and, and moving forward. This season, I mean, all three matches have been close. Uh, you started off against Austin, had to had to win that game 12 on 15. Uh, this past week on the road at Utah, you guys scored two tries in the final 10 minutes to come back and get that win on the road. What is it about this team that you guys are just not phased in these late game situations? Yeah, I think it really showed our, our composure and leadership within the team. Um, you know, like I said, we've got an amazing culture and we really believe and in, in, in back each other. Um, you know, we always have each other's back. And so, um, you know, we said at the end there, good teams find ways to win ugly, scrappy games. And, and that's just what we did. And it wasn't pretty. It wasn't the way we drew it up, um, but we found a way. And that's just what good teams do. And that's what we wanted to, to be our, our culture and what we're about. You've been with this Glendale Raptors squad for a long time. You served as captain uh, numerous different times in the course of your run here at Infinity Park with Glendale. You mentioned that culture. Expand on that a little bit. What is it about the culture of this organization that you guys have just been able to sustain success for as long as you have? You know, we're super lucky to get to play in, in what I think is one of the best places, and not in just in this country, but around the globe, that, um, you know, we get a call home. So to be able to have that... Um, backing us every weekend you know that's something special for us we take a lot of pride in that and you know I think a lot of the guys have, have taken pride in just establishing a culture where it's all about the brotherhood here and so you know nobody's too big for the game nobody's bigger than than everybody else and so we've got a lot of great players with amazing histories and backgrounds but you know and when we put on that jersey and we wear that patch it's it's all about playing for your brother at that point. Two straight games out on the road. Finally back at Infinity Park coming up Sunday, 6 o'clock against the San Diego Legion. Uh, how good is it going to be to be back out here at Infinity Park? Yeah, it's always tough getting on the road, and so we had a couple games on, on, on away, so uh, we're excited to be back here. We have some great fans, and it's got a great, great atmosphere to play in front of, so we're super excited to be here and be back playing in front of the hometown. All right, give me the captain's scouting report on San Diego. They're coming in at 2-1, and one, second place right now in MLR, trailing only your Glendale Raptors. What are you guys going to have to do to be successful coming up on Sunday? Yeah, San Diego's a, a very skilled and talented team. They've got a lot of great players, um, you know, a lot of uh, current Eagles and ex-Eagles, um, a lot of guys that have just very well um, drilled and skilled. And so, um, you know, we're, we know what they're going to be coming at us right from the beginning, and they're very excited. They've, they've got a little bit of momentum right now, two big wins on the back-to-back. Um, -back. So they've got a lot of momentum and want to show something on the road, and um, we're going to be ready for it, that's for sure. All right, Zach Finolio and the Raptors, they'll be back on the pitch here at beautiful Infinity Park. Sunday at 6 o'clock, taking on the San Diego Legion. Get in here early, GlendaleRaptors.com. Get your tickets now. Zach Finolio. Zach, best of luck. Thank you. In Dallin Explains this week, we're examining how and when you can claim a mark and be awarded a free kick. Big boot of his In order for the ref to award a mark, you have to catch the ball directly from an opponent's kick inside your own 22 meter line while simultaneously calling mark. Morath in the 22, calls the mark. Be a free kick just inside the 22. Once the mark is awarded by the referee, play restarts with a free kick by the player who called the mark and caught the ball. Get his team back on side. Get his team out of danger, back into the Glendale half. Claiming a mark is a great way to slow down the pace of the game and then relieve pressure by kicking downfield. 
The Raptors tried the week was a splendid effort that was started by Bryce Campbell and finished off by Harley Davidson. Our numbers. Benolio, big numbers. Campbell goes back in field though. Breaks a tackle. Campbell now has support coming either way. Breaks another tackle. Campbell up to the halfway line. Putty brings him down. Diarchival out to Davidson. The footwork from That's Davidson. Speed. Can he hit the throttle? Davidson! Well, the engines are revving. They're not going to catch Harley Davidson. Well, nothing but open highways. Raptors have a chance to even things up here with that end-to-end -end stuff. Coast to coast for Glendale. Just as you think, the Warriors <laughs> are about to put another try on the board. Glendale snatches that one out, and instead of opting to clear that one, they take a run, and it was a great run at that. And then, obviously, the man with the greatest name in Major League Rugby, Harley Davidson, turns on the Jets and takes that one home and dots down right underneath the sticks. This should tie it up here. This week's big hit was a smashing tackle by new number eight, Sam Fig. The toughest player to tackle, oh. Patti. He slices right through, Patti. Oh, oh, big oh, shot oh, comes oh, in. Forces the arrow, both players down. This one, Johnny, from front on. That's textbook stuff, that's just... To find out everything you want to know about Major League Rugby's top team, give our Twitter feed and Instagram a look at Glendale Raptors. Then check out our Facebook page and YouTube channel at Glendale Raptors Rugby. This Sunday evening, May 13th, the Raptors return home to Infinity Park to take on the surging San Diego Legion at 6 p.m. Mountain Time on AT&T Sportsnet and on ESPN+. Be sure to get your tickets for this Sunday by going to glendaleraptors.com slash tickets. And don't forget to arrive two hours early to thoroughly enjoy the fan zone, complete with food, beer and fun at Infinity Park. San Diego opened with a road loss to Seattle, but in the next two matches, they beat Utah and Houston at home. In last week's last minute win, the Legion showed off plenty of offensive firepower, particularly from outside center Anthony Saliba, who dotted down three outstanding tries. The Raptors will have to tighten up their overall defense and keep making their tackles for a full 80 minutes on Sunday in order to maintain their perfect record. All right, coming up Sunday night, 6 o'clock right here at Infinity Park, you're going to welcome in the San Diego Legion. They are 2-1, and one, second place right now here in Major League Rugby. As you have taken a look at them on film, uh, what do you guys have to do to be successful? I'm really looking sight to this game. Uh, I think they, 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 they want to play like us. They want to throw the ball around. They've got a lot of eagles in their team. They've got a really exciting back line. Uh, they brought some new players into their pack. They identified that as an area of weakness, especially after the Seattle game. So it's a completely different team. You know, they've got some good set-piece ball now. They've got some platforms to work off. You know, and it's, they're going to throw the ball around. It's been an exciting game here. You know, we're looking to play. We want to play. It's going to be dry. It's going to be hot. You know, so I'm really looking forward to this game. And I know our lads are really amped after this training session as well. You know, obviously, we've got to bring the physicality. We've got to bring that speed component to the game and beat them around the corner. You know, they know how we play. They've watched us, you know, probably numerous times. And we've only seen them three times. But we kind of pick up some tendency how they want to play, how, what their style of pattern is. But that can all change this weekend. Like Rob Hoadley, he's a good coach. You know, he's coached coached in Japan, he's coached in England, he's coached in the US, so he knows what he's about and uh, same as his, his coaching staff as well. You touched on it a little bit, but how important is the depth of your squad right now, and especially in these training sessions, making sure that anybody can step on the pitch and be successful? Oh, it's massive. It's huge. Unless you have that depth, you just falter. You know, we're lucky we've got a, a good deep bench, so I can go to our bench in that last 20 minutes without going, oh, hang on. We got to keep these guys on longer than they should do. They're getting tired. Then the opposition takes advantage of that. So we can go to our bench and go. I've got full confidence in these lads. They're going to do a good job for us, and they have done. And I fully expect them that bench will continue on for the rest of the season. And obviously in June we'll lose a few players as other teams will. So that's when your bench comes into you know they, into their own. And we've got to keep progressing and keep going. And that's why the weekly training sessions and a daily training environment is massive for these players to step up. Yeah, so many of these Raptors are going to be training with the USA Eagles coming up in June. But first things first, Sunday night, the Glendale Raptors will put their 3-0 record on the line against the San Diego Legion right here at Infinity Park. Kickoff is at 6 o'clock. Get in here, get your seats, and be in your seats, and get ready for this one. GlendaleRaptors.com. Coach David Williams. Coach, best of luck this week. Thanks a lot. Appreciate it. That'll do it for this episode of Raptors Weekly. We'll see you next time with highlights and full coverage of Glendale's battle with San Diego.